Let's start with the Hermit. We'll start with the Hermit and we'll go from there. Souls, 69. Thanks for the year, Albirdo. Holy shit, look at me. Look at my gun. At the start of each combat, add a memento into your hand. All right. Deal. Why not? Let's uh, let's get to it. Herman is capable of using dead on cards. If any of you don't know what downfall is, neither do I. <laughs> now we're on the same page. Please don't spoil a ton of shit about this for me. Please, 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 please don't be the person who's like, wait until you see what the next unlock is. It really, it really does a lot with this mechanic. <laughs> please don't be like, oh, that rare card has a lot of synergy with the other cards in the card pool that you haven't seen yet. Please don't fucking do that. Please don't, please don't do that. Don't ruin it for me, please. Is this character a mod? Maybe. Yes. He clever. He volts. He portable head. He neo jaxi. Hermit is capable of using dead on cards. Dead on cards trigger the special effect when positioned in the middle of your hand. In even hands, both of the middle cards count, even if these are the only cards in your hand. Retain. Apply one vulnerable to everyone. Oh, shit. I actually really like the art. This is great. Discard one card, draw one card, discarded curses are exhausted. Interesting. So how do I play this turn? He's um modish he 17 inch corkscrew. Can I get snapshot to the middle of my hand? That's what I want to do, right? Oh, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't... It doesn't even matter. <laughs> it's just not actually relevant. I discarded before drawing? Huh, I don't like that. Do not like, do not want. All skills thanks to 18 months. My starter deck feels kind of strong. Like, kind of very strong. Let's see what we got. Vantage. You search, where are you? Gain eight block, dead on, upgrade two random cards in your hand for the rest of combat. What the fuck? Every mod character ever made. It's like, well, Armaments is an okay Ironclad common, but what if it blocked for three more and it upgraded twice as many cards? Would it be good then? Every fucking, every fucking mod character ever made. Bruise targets take more attack damage, wears off a turn end. Now let's take, take the giant Armaments card. Hey, Kaldok. Am I interested in other mods? If I were, I would be playing them right now. Maybe. Is that a grandma knob training dummy? Maybe. These are excellent. Roulette, deal 18 damage to random enemy and calculated gamble. That is kind of fascinating. Let's concentrate. The next dead on card played will concentrate triggers its effect. Regardless of position, wears off on turn end. And just attacks her nine. Okay. How do you have vulnerable, right? Ooh, that is not what I expected this upgrade to be. Whoa. The starter deck goes infinite by itself? Very nearly? Very nearly. Um, 
I'll take one wide open, a little bit more damage. Is the Downfall mod the sponsored game? It is not. It is not the sponsored game. She trigger deal seven damage dead on reduce the cost of a random card in your hand by one oh my god cat why oh my god cat why sorry zephyr and i are having a disagreement right now a franconic disciple <laughs> Moya are annoying. Um, fascinating card. I don't think it's incredible. I don't know. I don't know the card pool yet. It doesn't seem that good though. Transform upgrade. Roundhouse Kick. We got a rare. Deal 13 damage to all enemies. Stun any that don't intend to attack. Stunned enemies skip their turn. Is that good? I mean, yes, but... <laughs> Is Zephyr also upset at the rising cost of housing? Oh, maybe. I guess that could be it. I didn't consider that, honestly. Why doesn't this upgrade? Oh shit, it's a curse! I didn't know that. That's why it's a black card. It makes sense. Alright. Understood. 13, 20, Two thirty one. Escape business the forty nine months, three times in the eight months. There are definitely some fun turns in here, aren't there? Wait, what? Was Snapshot not middle when I played it? I guess Snapshot wasn't middle when I played it. Oh, that was a bad choice. You flannel violin! Is Memento just a worse crescendo? Well, every card is worse than crescendo. You can't expect the card to be as good as crescendo. Did I hear about the game called... Maho Kenshi, did you hear about it from the stream title? <laughs> How's it going, Ace Venturama? Hey, Janelle. Alexo, hello, Antares. UFB modelings for the eight months. Feels two more for all your curse cards. That seems like a good card. Well, 10 damage, double this card's damage this combat, and it costs one more. I'm gonna take the one that is a big AoE card. How about that? I have a bag of prep now too. I think it's... You know, I don't actually know what it is. I don't know what it is, the Jackal. Whenever you trigger a dead-on effect, your next attack deals three more damage. Nope. Deal 12 damage and add a strike to your hand. Nope. At the start of your turn, apply three blue bruise to all enemies. Is that how I should scale? Probably not. Okay. 
God, my cat is sitting 10 feet away, meowing at me. Why? Why chat? He wasn't doing this so far. And I started working, and then he was like, I will... I, I will make this, the noise. The noise that you love so much. Great cat. All things to 21 months. Black Powder. At the end of your turn, deal 2 damage to all enemies for each dead-on effect triggered. Okay. Time to cuddle on the couch, is it? Mm. Oops. Sorry, Dell links in 19 months. So I'm not going to be able to get that on on this, am I? Well, maybe I can. Can actually. Do I even want to? Doesn't really do much. Oh yeah, it does. Uh, it does the damage with the thing. No, no, no. It's great. It's great. It's uh, It's actually good. Yeah, because this thing, yeah. At least move this down. Strength potion, adapt. At the start of your turn, you can exhaust a card to gain eight block. <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> what the fuck? No, you can't. That's not. No. No. Deal 18 damage, cost one less per strike or defend played this turn. Alright, I'm gonna put Zephyr. Okay. Adapt makes almost all decks infinite. It sure does. <laughs> sure does. Uh. It's 82, the starting health. I took, uh, took 7 health from the whale or whatever. 8 health from the whale. Some amount of health from the whale. Green Festing to 18 months. Does this mean your sub count has started going down now to... Huh, I don't know. Probably not. I think you're probably good. I should maybe have used the strength potion here. I should also have used the strength potion that turn, didn't do that either. I don't know. 10 plus 12 isn't enough. Wait, I'm not even getting attacked. I don't. Mods showcase how hard game design is and that most people suck so badly at it. I think a more positive spinner night is that mods showcase what happens if people decide they want to run with a concept and character design instead of running with a, like... We will super, super precisely balance this exactly to be challenging at 20 different levels of difficulty. Like, because both are fun and both can be fun for players. As someone who spent a long time working on modded characters, like, uh, balancing it to be punishing to players is not necessarily the thing that people who are working on modded characters want to do. This does not wear off this turn. Am I not just going infinite? I feel like I'm just going infinite. What's that? 
Oh, oh, that's kind of gross. Whenever you beat an elite encounter, gain one strength at the start of each combat for the rest of the act. That's a that's an interesting relic. That's a cool idea. I like that. I'm not gonna spend money on it, but I like it. Conceptually, it's cool. You gotta remember that Jorbs isn't playing an Ascension 20 right now. It's also true, probably. Who is that? Sorry, Slimbo. If I just died a slime boss on Ascension Zero, that could be cool. <laughs> Are there any zero cost cards in this character's card pool? I don't know. I haven't found many. Yeah, not lowering the character's card pool in any way does uh make assuming that I know exactly how I'm going to win the run. Perhaps a little bit hubristic. What's our infinite combo? I don't know. I don't. I don't know what my card pool is. How would I know the answer to that question? Um. In my heart, I know. Maybe true. Let's see if the Curse AoE card deals 12 or 9 here. Dealt 9. So when I exhausted my thing, I stopped getting that. Makes sense. Add a zero cost defend to your hand and upgrade it X times. <laughs> what does that mean? Add a, as a zero cost defend to your hand and upgrade it X times. But you can only upgrade it once. <laughs> you can only upgrade those one time. I don't understand. Alright, cool. I'm not reading chat because there are like seven people in chat ex explaining exactly how the mechanic works right now, and fuck you. I don't want you to explain it to me. Piss off. I'm not going to read your comment. It's cool. It's cool. It was a misunderstanding, I'm sure. Um... Montana's thanks for 15 months. Appreciate it. I think the card art is pretty nice, yeah. If you think that I was talking about specifically you when I said that, um, I genuinely didn't read chat, so, I mean. Deal damage equal to your hand size. Dead on, draw one attack. Okay. I'm a zero cost card, I guess. What is dead on? It works if it's in the middle of your hand. Swift strike. Mind blast? Swift strike, I think. It's the first time I've played this card. It has not been particularly good, to be honest. To be perfectly honest with you. Has not been as good as I was hoping it would be. 
I should probably drink the strength potion. Sure. Choose a card to exhaust. I want to put it at 70 at this difficulty level. I don't know what that means. Okay. Does Roundhouse Kick delay the split? Possible. Usually kill the green one first. If you stun the slam boss, does it take one more turn to attack? So possible. Oh, I had AoE in my hand, also they're dead. Cool. Fairy in a bottle. Round does kick again. Gambit. Put two random attacks from your discard pile into your hand and they cost one less this turn. Dissolve. Gain 12 block. Block is not removed at the start of your next two turns. What's that song? Who's it by? I want to say it's by Abso Facto, but that doesn't. No one would call their band Abso Facto. No other cats meowing at me. Okay. I just wanted you to watch me this whole slow way in a pool. That's abso-facto, all right? Might be. Um, I don't know. These all seem fine, I guess. I do feel like... I do feel like the most threatening things in hallway fights are the attacks from enemies. Maybe like in the game as a whole, the most threatening things end up being non-attacks though. That's a ball. With Runic Pyramid Roundhouse Kick would be really sweet. One yard mod sinks the 40 months. Appreciate it. Try Gambit out. Makeshift battery. Gain an energy and add a slime into your discard pile at the start of your turn. Don't really want the slime in my discard pile. I'll just go fusion hammer. Hey, Song of the Siren. I think I'm getting dead on on that. Twelve plus thirteen. No. Uh Stop. All right. Cool. How come the art looks good on the cards but the frames are so scuffed? 
Is there something wrong with the frames? They look okay to me. Whenever you draw or exhaust, curse. In six block. Quick draw is card draw. Do I have infinite yet? Have any energy generation? Draw or exhaust a curse. Six block. I have a Sender's Ban, yeah? So if I draw that before... Oh, I don't have a Sender's Ban. I'm playing on fucking Ascension Zero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good then. You've never gotten Curse Energy to actually work on her map. The issue to me... And admittedly, I'm a newer player of the game. But the issue to me feels like it is... That Curses are bad? I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't think they're good. with the controversial opinions. That's Jorbs for ya. <clears throat> okay, that's a pretty good card. Apparently I got through my entire deck already. Didn't realize. Because yeah. That's say four. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to all enemies for each dead on trigger. I didn't trigger four of them. Maybe I triggered uh two. And it says two for each one. That kind of makes sense. Why does this never not attack me? It's it's because it's because there's no um I choose none. Oh, I can. It's because there's no not attack in its uh, attack pool. That's why. Thanks for the three years, Copilot. Thanks for 38 months, Wasqui. Boss Potion. Choose one of three random boss cards and add it to your hand. What? Gain four plated armor. Dead on, gain five gold. I mean. What? <laughs> what? Are, are, you, are you serious? Well, you see, disarm just isn't all that in a bag of chips. What if it was AoE and it made you block? In fairness, this character doesn't have feel no pain and um, dark embrace and stuff. In fairness, I just take scavenge. Scavenge seems fun. It gives us something to do. A little side quest. End of greed, also a side quest. Gain energy up to your energy maximum. Oh, that's kind of cool.
situation I go. Let's go this way. I think when I took the hand upgrade, I was thinking to myself, I just got a Gatling chip and didn't get a ride. Oh dear. Um, when I took hand upgrade, I was thinking to myself, I'll take the hallway fights, gather gold from them, and then this shop will be takeable. Um, but then I didn't do that instead. I don't know. Interesting stuff. Choose any number of cards to replace gambling chip. Jeep bag, links to 25 months. I wonder what boss potion does. Oh yeah. Um I have a bunch of strikes in my discard pile. I need that. I need that. There's only one way to find out. Ask Twitch chat. I bet Twitch chat would tell me. Bag of prep plus gambling chip combo is very strong. Modders just don't understand how to balance the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Um How does a card named Savage not draw cards in some form? Why would it? What? She sticks. Oh, named Scavenge. Gotcha. That makes a lot more sense. Have I stunned anything with this? I don't know if I've stunned a single thing with that. Super armament's pretty good. Eh, it hasn't been that good, honestly. Have to do so much work to make it do anything ever. That card has generated 10 gold. Holy shit. <laughs> Power seems very good. That's just offering, right? Kind of just offering. Except, like, better. I don't know. Thanks for the 17 months, Evacodius. Exhaust a card. Deal 20 damage if you exhaust a curse. Deal 20 damage to all enemies in the stud. Deal 4 damage to a random enemy three times. Shuffle a doubt into your draw pile. I want to take the, the red card. Gosh, I just. I have no desire to put curses on my deck, so like, you know, <laughs> it's kind of an issue, kind of an issue with the card pool that I'm working with here. At least in so far as how I'm interacting with that, that first, I guess. What did the upgrade for overwhelming power look like? Whenever you use less health, apparently. Holy shit, 10 gold. Now we're talking.
You like the idea of interacting with curses, so we made cards that put curses in your deck for you to play with. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> so. I think the issue... I mean, I think it's fine. The thing I would say may be an issue with a mechanic like that is that you need an easy way to get into a synergy package. Rugged reduces next instance of attack damage taken to two. Okay. Found a ghost in a jar. I guess if I got a relic that interacted with curses as well. Because there are some big payoffs, right? I would just, like, we would have to get them. It's only one of the multi hats. The 67 times 1. It won't do anything to the second part of the 67 times 1 attack in the heart fight. That's too bad. That's really unlucky for me. Um, hopefully taking two damage from the first hit of the 67 times one attack will be enough. Seems like the curse cards are fine, even without curses. I Maybe mean, it's not that you're supposed to go stack curses, but just they make them a bit less bad. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you're wrong. I'm not gonna take out potions, it's just like, I don't know. No, that's cool. <laughs> we'll just play without operations. Thanks, the game will be better. Gosh, enemies really attack you a lot in this game. Well, I should have played that earlier in the turn. He's Strider Squared. Good to see you. Probably should have used Memento here, huh? Oh well. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. You remember finding around this guy can be like this will trigger all the time. It is not triggered all the time. Yeah, I mean, enemies attack you most of the time. That is mostly what enemies do. It is no one, kinda. <laughs> I have an unceasing top. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. That, draws a, that draws an attack when I apply it. Okay. Oh, what a great game. All right, cool. Tungsten Rod. At the start of your turn, draw two cards and add an injury to your hand. Okay. Let's take it. I don't know if that's strong at all, honestly, but uh, I'll I'll try to I'll try to do something with it all. Your home impression was that Dead On was really cool, but between the curse stuff and the strike defense stuff, too much of the deck is about, hey, these garbage cards are now less garbage. 
yeah, we're definitely approaching the game by starting with these cards aren't very good. What if we design a character around them? Which has, I would say, some of the pitfalls that you might expect. <laughs> um, anyway, good shot. Oh, I should use my uh, boss potion in this fight, maybe. Is this the turn? Is this the moment where I need to boss potion? Maybe. Alright. Save me, boss potion. Last stand. Remove all debuffs. Gain a strength. If you below half HP, gain two strength. Hexa burn in three turns, deal six damage to random enemy six times, it scales with strength. Chrono boost, gain one strength for every twelfth card you play. Alright. Upgrade it? Now what do I do? Boss potion seems like a really neat concept. Yeah. Downfall as a whole is a very neat concept. I have never in my entire life <laughs> used called shot before the other cards in my hand. I'm just like physically incapable of doing that somehow. Never in my entire life. Is this our first run? It is. Otter, thanks to the 41 ones. Appreciate it. Center on Ascension 4, but the flavor was really nice. Huh. Yeah, on the bar. We're done with this fight. My deck is definitely a bunch of strikes that are getting stronger and stronger. Are they though? I don't even know if that's true. Maybe they're not even getting stronger and stronger. The deck is definitely a bunch of strikes. I guess I upgrade them with my armaments. That's kind of about it. Has Hermit become less totally busted? You are asking me as I play my first ever run in my life with Hermit. My opinion? Yes. Sorry to turn Dorch cards and add an injury to your hand. I already have one of those. I could have two of them. Innate. Can't upgrade it though. Um. I would start to have lots of curses. And then I could kill everything with grudge somehow. All right, let's try to get the curse energy stuff going. Seems like the thing to try to do. We 
you're going to get this mod and play it until you round house lock the heart, at which point you'll uninstall. I don't think you lock it, I think it just does its its next thing on its next turn. I don't think it works quite how you're hoping it does. Oh, I exhausted Hand of Greed on like turn two or something. I was wondering where Hand of Greed went in that fight. A little bit. Just a teensy bit. Where are you, Hand of Greed? I was thinking to myself. Also, that exhausts. Ah, uh, okay. Guitar. You wanted to see how I evaluate a character you had to understand without my input. Mm. No pressure, huh? <laughs> I'm not going to give you a good evaluation of this character without playing like a hundred plus hours of it certainly not going to give you one by playing it once at Ascension Zero. What is an impending doom? Unplayable. Dead on at the end of your turn. So 13 damage to everyone. Fascinating. I'm gonna take faint. I would really love to have a skim in my deck. These are skim sometimes. Kind of. Stem PZ. Two hands of greed, one for each hand. Hand of greed one, hand of greed two. available for horrible advice. Thank you. Is that like a... Uh, like what if I'm at the supermarket or something? Just doing some shopping? Just call you up on the phone? That'd be good. None of my energy costing cards actually draw cards, huh? I was thinking I'd do this to help my infinite, but I guess I don't really need to for any reason, so I just won't. You can't spell Hand of Greed without and. Always opt for more. Okay. It just feels like too much work to gambling chip right now. just read what that card does. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> all right, all right, good stuff. We applied the bruise to the enemy. That's all part of it. Um, ow. Zagrawow. Having three hands of greed in your deck should give you clumsy. Don't hate it. Uh, 
Don't hate it. Oh shit! Round house kick! I think that's the first time in the run. I think that's the first time in the run that it's mattered. But we got there. We did eventually get there. Get a stunned, you nerd. Exactly. I'm glad you understand. I got a roundhouse kick on a slime earlier that did nothing and you cheered. <laughs> Ow. Good grief. Alright. Bottled lightning. Dead or alive. Deal 8 damage X times. If fatal, get a bounty. Kind of a cool mechanic, I don't know. Can you perma stun since they'll always do a non attack after? Will they always do a non attack after? Will they always do a non attack after? I'm not bounty hunting. I already have a hand upgrade. kind of cool. I feel like I actually like use the mechanics of the character there a little bit. Another if I have gold from scavenge, whatever, stop. I do think that plated armor might be okay. I do th I do think on top of on top of the gold you have noticed, uh, it's possible the plated armor is okay for one energy. Fish things the four months. End turn with one energy remaining. Challenge difficulty impossible. Can I get that to thing of dig? I don't know if I can. Shit, I have all the curses. Basically just thread a needle plus ceramic fish. Got both of them, like at the same time. Might be too strong. I 
My deck's very bad. Maybe I should have played better. I don't know. Toro Sadato! don't even have an infinite, I just realized. My infinite, I thought, was this plus... Uh, where is that? I guess with Covet it works. Okay, so it's just this and this. Sure, whatever. I thought it was called shot on this, but um, can't draw a flash of steel because it's in the discard pile. Get on and play too weak to all enemies. Gain energy up to your maximum. I just really need a skim. Does the card pool have a skim in it? Rhubarb. You can tell me. Does this card pool have like draw three cards on anything? <sighs> End of greed shaking and crying. End of greed's trying its best. Oh, that doesn't have exhaust. Pretty decent card. This downfall mod seems to add a ton of content. I think it's worth a repurchase on PC. I have purchased Slay the Spire at least like four times. And if you haven't, I don't know what to tell you. What are you doing with your money that's so important? Rhubarb is my safe word. Correct. Oh, Adapt gives you 8 block? <laughs> oh. Okay. I understand now. I didn't realize that. I think when I picked the card, I was like, oh yeah, that's cool. That's way too strong, but it's cool. And then I just forgot that it had that mode to it, because it's like... <laughs> so... So unnecessary. Uh, hmm. Rhubarb is your dog Ruby's full name. But you don't think she knows the card pool? Is Ruby a good dog? I will only accept one answer. Your favorite sorbet flavor? Gosh, I cannot relate to that. I mean, like, I guess it's fine. I don't favorite, though. I mean, that's a lot. Maybe I should have used this and then just killed them all. Probably. Rhubarb is a weird English word. Yeah, I bet it comes from something other than English. This doesn't seem very normal English wordy to me. What wine would I pair with a sorbet? I haven't had wine in a really long time. I think I had wine in fall of last year. I had a few glasses of wine. Not sure I have a strong opinion. So 
what I'm trying to communicate. Try to make rose sorbet ones basically wind up with a container of not frozen wine. Oh, is that rose sorbet or rose sorbet? Probably rose, yeah. I think I can be pretty good. Alright, obviously we have to scavenge this turn. How are we gonna do that? Like this. Perfect. Oh. Dorbs remembers to leave one energy up at the end of turn challenge. Difficulty impossible still. Difficulty is still impossible. Prosecco Sorbet. Sounds kind of cool. If y'all could be in a season of Cobra Kai, which character would you be? Imagine being so lucky. And you're leading to 22 months. You just be the cobra. That's allowed. I don't feel like you can just be the cobra. Strike steal form advantage of this combat. Gain two dexterity. This costs one more in this combat. Does the game actually just want me to play strikes for the entire run? What if I don't want to play strikes for the entire run? Huh. Your next dead on effect triggers twice this turn. Where is it? Where'd it go? Another five gold for combat. This is nothing to sneeze at. Maybe I take out for the two dexterity. This seems like a more relevant half of the card. Is mayonnaise a card? Possible. It doesn't exhaust, but it does cost one more of this combat. I want to roundhouse this. Still become intangible. Oh, shit, it doesn't even become intangible. Does it just do the same thing again next time? It looks like it does. Well then. The thing I just did. It's kind of fucking random cards right now. 
Is Roundhouse always like this? I don't know. I just don't like you very much, Nemesis. Other than that, you're great. I just drew all of my attacks for this deck cycle. Truly, Jorbs didn't only just find out about Downfall. Sorry. Find out about what? Stop hitting me. die this turn. Thinking about it. Gosh. Okay, fine. Dying probably not the best play. I mean, we won't know unless we try it, right? I guess I only have one boss fight, huh? Another scavenge. Play one of the top five cards in your draw pile also triggers that on it. Do I not have all the cards unlocked? I probably don't have all the cards unlocked. No. About to be scared about me not picking scavenge. Imagine missing out on the sweet gold. I will. I will imagine that. About nine to twelve cards should be locked. Noticeable. Ow. That is very bad. Very bad. There was that one card. Blocked when I drew four exhausted curses. That one would have been good. Other than that, I don't remember seeing anything this run that was like. Oh yeah, this this would be good. I'm sure it was there somewhere. I don't remember what it was. Any 
unlock every card after your first round this mod. You just don't enjoy the limitations on the card pool. Yeah. Why does the Hermit have a gun? Oh, maybe it's American. all of my energy. Thank you. What do you think that will accomplish for me? to you. Is Defect also American? This isn't even a fun infinite, is it? Oh, it's brutal. I have a panache in play. Everyone is either an American or a temporarily embarrassed foreigner. <laughs> That's true. Have I read any good books recently? I really want to find a good book to read. Um, I've been reading essays online, which is like, I don't know, kind of weird. Weird. I think the peer review process is important in scientific literature, and the editing process is important in other types of publications. And blog posts don't have either of those things. I read the three body problem. I read the first like two thirds of the first book and kind of bounced off it. When it became clear that it wasn't I mean, I don't want to spoil. It became clear to me which way it was going, and it was not the way that I thought it was going to be going, and I was like, oh, I don't actually want to read that. Do I think the Hermit is OP? I am asked after playing it for 40 minutes on floor 50 of my first Ascension Zero run with the character. I have not unlocked all the card pool yet. <laughs> I haven't seen all of the cards that I have unlocked. Would the breeze help me? Yeah, what I play. How do I solve the trolley problem? My opinion on the trolley problem has always been, and will continue to be, Tokyo Drift. Multi track drifting. Just get them all. I 
I was there, I think, so 34 months. I have not read House of Sons. I read the first 15 lines of Harry August. I enjoyed it too. Reduce each of your debuffs by two. That exhaust. It doesn't exhaust. Ethereal gain one rugged. Increase the cost of this card by two in this combat. Hmm. Hmm. Do I have to upgrade this in combat? I do, don't I? Or else it doesn't work. This is miserable. <laughs> That's awful. That's not a thing I want at all. I survive long enough. I probably shouldn't have taken that card. It slows me down by an entire turn. Oh shit, Memento and Virtue. Look at that. I guess I don't need to dead on Scavenge. Although, if I do, I deal another two damage this turn. So I suppose actually, actually, okay, some sort of turn one. Doesn't the trolley problem require you to accept that making a decision is somehow not an action to give it gravitas? If making a decision is somehow not an action, give it gravitas. What? Sure, maybe. I don't know. A roundhouse kicked, so this isn't shielding them anymore. <laughs> that was actually kind of sweet. That was kind of a little bit sweet. Burns went in discard pile because of Ascension 1, yeah. Yeah, the thing that puts um, Burns in your hand. Wow, my hand's kind of bad here. This is one of the larger difficulty spikes in the game. You blame! What does this actually do? Bruise targets take, three, take more attack damage. Do you think that works through shield? It does. Cool. Alright, now I know. I 
Have I ever pumped up the jam? Uh, I've made jam before. I don't remember pumping it up, though. And energy up to your maximum. Well, cool. alright. Uh, well, I'm going to go infinite with the uh, starter deck plus a colorless card. That's basically how I've engaged with this character's card pull this run. Good shit. Okay, do you want to play this? Uh, play that, weirdly. Play this, play this. Play those ones. Yo, where are my kicks? I have two of them. Getting out of control here. Uh, maybe look at a power. Eternal form. First of four playable cards drawn at the start of each turn cost one less of that turn. Mm. Choose a card to exhaust. Begins. And we do it again. What's that thing where every time you draw or exhaust a curse you get blocked? I should maybe have taken that thing. Stuck with not the Ascension 20 heart, but I think it beats this heart. I think it beats this heart. I don't actually know for sure. Is this heart scary? I barely know what this heart does. Honestly, <laughs> it might or it might not. Oh. Yeah, that was worse this time. Okay. I made some block then. Definitely made a sun block. I got an infinite that generates block. Do I? Am I infinite? Doesn't look like I'm infinite. Why some of these cards upgrade is weird to me. That card doesn't 
feel like it should upgrade to innate. Although I don't like what should it upgrade to. I don't know. It's not what I expected it to upgrade to, I guess. There we go. A snapshot, a fun called shot. That's not my thing. <laughs> sure. You've had frost. You there, Brian? So what is five times twelve anyway? Uh what if it is over there. Are we witnessing an Ascension Zero Jorbs defeat? Maybe. No, I think I got there. It was close, though. Can I play Fatal Desire yet? I don't think I can, right? Pretty sure I can. Yeah. Oh. You just pandas into a glass knife and then astroed into an upgraded glass knife. Congratulations. Very happy for you and your family. There are no attacks on there. This doesn't quite work. But next turn, oh well. Wait, will it work this turn? Uh, yes, right? Yeah, that's something. Okay. I've so been trying to tell you about this mod for a while now, you silly goose. I'm sorry, what? You've been trying to tell me about Downfall? Clearly, we need to work on our communication to chat because I have not had this mod recommended to me by a single person. <laughs> not a single time. Not a single time has someone been like, hey, Jorbs, why don't you, why don't you play Downfall? I thought Downfall just came out today. Yeah. Yeah. I should have bought the Shuriken. I wonder how much I was dead by on Ascension 20 in this heart fight. 50 health or something? Do you have a fairy in a bottle? Are there any guns in vanilla Slay the Spire? Gremlin knob. Has a couple of guns. Hey, Jorbs, we've been trying to reach you about your Spire's extended mod warranty. <laughs> yes, you certainly have. It took an hour and a half. A chat that took an hour and a half. A chat that took an hour and a half. <laughs> Choose a card that costs zero this turn. Discard the rest of your hand. Draw all your strikes and defends. Deal eight damage. Play all strikes in your hand. All right. What's the easiest way to get the rest of the unlocks for this character? Ascension 20 run will only take about <laughs> 15 minutes. Probably true. Probably true. Oh, 
Where is... Here we go. No. Where's the Herman? Cursed weapon, dead man's hand, black wind from beyond, purgatory reprieve. Are these cards which are already unlocked, but I just didn't see them yet? They have a lock symbol on them. <laughs> okay, probably not then. Whenever you play a striker to defend, draw a card. Oh. Deal 24 damage. Dead on, gain 20 block. Discard six cards for each card, deal five damage. Your discard synergy? Not really, right? This character really feels like it is. Begin with your starter deck, which plays strikes and defends. Ascend the Spire. At no point changing what your deck does in any way. <laughs> Perhaps win the final heart fight in a way which looks a lot like you're fighting Jawworm on floor one. <laughs> Oof. It's weird that Dead On is such a large character mechanic, but there's so little card draw. There's so little card draw. Discard a card. Like, where are the commons that draw you a card? Who's this quick draw? That's it, yeah? What, like... If you're going to have Dead On be a mechanic, why don't you have, like, a card, like, Prepared at Common, for example? Wouldn't that make sense? Brawl called Shot Cheat. Play one of the top three cards in your draw pile. Play one of the top three cards in your draw pile. You get to choose. I'm guessing you get to choose. I don't know. Do you get to choose? That'd be kind of strong. It's so weird, like... I'm immediate like I'm thinking about these cards and what their strongest synergy is with, and it's like, well, an uncommon colorless card? Like <laughs> like it's not it's not in this card pool. The the mechanics that have been built have better support in other card pools than they do. In the card pool that they're in. I'm on this card's damage this combo. That's a cool card. I didn't see that during my run. That's a cool card. This feels like... Yeah. I don't think that should be common either. I just didn't see it on my run. If I'd, if I'd seen this card on my run, I probably would have very, very, very different opinions about the character. So there you go, playing one run of a character. Arguably not long enough to know everything about it. It's just one card though. If Fatal permanently reduces this card's cost by one, exhaust. <laughs> All right, two comments. One, that looks like dog shit. And I don't mean like the art is bad, I mean the art looks like it is of dog shit. <laughs> it, it looks like a turd. Uh, it's, it's beautifully drawn though. It's beautifully drawn. Um, <laughs> two, 
this is not an uncommon where you have to like spend four fights to turn it into a backstab that's not an eight. <laughs> Maybe if I drew a card tail. Deal 18 damage and draw a card if fatal permanently reduce the card's cost by one. That seems like a strong enough payoff for that side quest. What's the upgrade? 24. I guess you like take that card if you need to be Grumman up or something, probably. Not awful. Number's kind of low. I don't know. It's rough. It's not awful. Bruise is such a weird mechanic. Yeah. Because there's no multi attack, right? Bruise targets take more attack damage, wears off turn on. But there's no multi attack. Is there? Four damage to a random enemy three times. Shuffle it down into your draw pile? <laughs> oh my god. Um. He's a mad mal. Who's is just targeted flex? Or something like that. It's very like, I don't know, there are silent decks that you build sometime which are just like, I think we used to call it tempo. We used to call it the silent tempo archetype like three years ago or something. Where the idea was like you just played flying me and predator and then the next turn you got to play an extra flying me. And Predator. Uh, and then the next turn you had two extra energy, so you got to play like an extra Predator instead of the extra Flying Knee, and you just like had slightly more output every turn, and eventually that won you the run. And like, I mean, without commenting on the strengths and weaknesses of playing the character that way too much, uh, it feels like the silent card pool had that same mini direction in it. I don't know. I don't know. It feels to me like this character has a lot of cards which would work more sensibly in the silent card pool than they do in this character's card pool, I guess. Which is weird, because you'd want the cards to do well in this character's card pool. Wouldn't you? I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't. So there really was a next turn silent. Mm, kinda. Kinda. A lot of synergies might not be obvious that quickly. Fortunately, I've played the game for 8,000 hours, so like... I am capable, I think, of looking at a pool of cards and seeing what they do. I wonder what this means. It's like if you spend four energy on it, you get a zero cost card that blocks for 17. Is that what it means? Oh. So what is what does that mean? Does every upgrade give you another three block? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Some stuff going on with debuffs and curses. Sure.